What's up, Threadheads? Taking in some old school Atari 2600. This is one of the gifts my son Andrew and I got from my mother. You know, it's a, uh, the graphic's a little different than what he's used to, but we had a good time playing it. And I've had a little more experience at these games, so we were playing this the other night, and uh, I was winning, and it was getting close to the end of the game, and Andrew just restarted the game. He said, let's start this one over. This game's over. And I'm like, what? You just restarted the game. He's like, yeah, that one's over. Let's just start again. And it got me to thinking, you know, uh, we just celebrated Christmas, and new beginnings are what, what part of what Christ was all about. It's why he came. Uh, we get a new beginning. We're a new creation in Christ. As the Apostle Paul wrote in his second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 5, verse 17, he says, Anyone who is in Christ is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. We become new creations no matter what we were in the past, no matter what we were carrying, whatever baggage we were, we were loaded down with. We're new creations in Christ. And I think about the new year, we're about to celebrate New Year's and everybody makes New Year's resolutions. You know, I'm going to be this in the new year, I'm going to make a new start. But that's what we get in Christ. We, we, we are new creations. And that means whatever we're carrying, I think about my past and I think about who I was and who I am now. And I think what Christ has given me, and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for uh, who I am in Christ and the new creation that we're able to be. So wherever you are this New Year's, maybe you're... Maybe you're celebrating with friends and family, but maybe you're all alone, and maybe you're feeling the guilt and shame of something from your past. I want you to know that you can be a new creation in Christ. It's not just a New Year's thing. It's not a one-and-done deal, because we continue to fall, and we come up short of the mark. But Christ just asks us to come back to Him. He says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. For my yoke is easy, my burden is light. He didn't come to give us burdens. He came to take them away. So whatever you're carrying, whatever's loading you down, I hope you can leave it at the foot of the cross and know that you are forgiven and begin that new walk, that new life in Christ. Because that's what he came for. He came for me and he came for you and he came for the whole world. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let us receive our King. I'm going to get back to this game before Andrew takes me out. Happy New Year, Threadheads. Have a great one. Got some work to do.